little mathematicians, once we start using the words left and right, we can also begin to use other positional language too. I have the words top, middle and bottom on my screen. I have the words left and right, but I also have top, middle and bottom. Those three words can also help us talk about the position of an object, especially in a grid that looks like this. I see something at the top, in the middle. What is it? It's an egg. Have a look at this grid. It's made up of three rows and three columns. I'm going to think it's the first row at the top being the top. I'm going to think of the second row as the middle. And I'm going to think of the last row as the bottom. And then I can use the words left, right and middle. I might also use words like in between or next to. Those are also positional words that we can use to describe an object, a location, or where we are. Let's take a listen to another one, are you ready? Little mathematicians, I see something on the left side of the screen, in the middle. It's over on the left, and if I'm looking up and down, it's in the middle. It's a gold coin. If you said gold coin or a coin, you're correct. Little mathematicians, I see something down the bottom on the right. What is it? So think of the top row, think of the middle row, and then think of the bottom row. It's on the bottom row and it's on the right. What is it? It's the red scooter. But there's something else down the bottom on the right. Me. I'm down the bottom on the right too. Little mathematicians, I see something in the middle row and in the middle. This thing is in the middle or the center of this entire grid of pictures. What do you see? A pair of glasses. I can see the glasses in the middle of this whole grid. The pair of glasses are between the gold coin and the pine cone. The pair of glasses are below the egg, but they're above a yo-yo. Positional language is a great thing for us to start getting used to. It's a great way for us to start describing where things are. Today, you're going to draw a picture by carefully listening to some positional language. I want somebody to give you some directions on how they want you to draw a picture. But the goal is you must draw your things in the space that the person tells you to. That means if they say to draw a tree down the bottom of your page in the middle, it must be down the bottom of your page in the middle. You need to listen carefully to some of those words we've been using today. Top, middle, bottom, left, right. There might even be some other words there that help you understand where something needs to be drawn. You're showing that you understand positional language. Have fun drawing your picture. Don't forget to listen carefully.